lot of people have been very uh, worried about the fact that I don't ever say anything against Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, you know, they say. And uh, I'll speak against Donald Trump, but not against them. Well, I've always just kind of thought it was a common sense issue, you know, that uh, Kamala Harris and, and uh, the Harris-Biden regime was the worst in history for America. They've done more to destroy this nation than any other regime before them. And uh, so let me just take a few minutes here to, to give you some thoughts about this whole thing of the Harris-Biden regime. Okay. Um, what would they do to this nation? What they will do to this nation is they will completely destroy it. Um, and that is their agenda. Uh, I think that the Trump thing is, let's try to see if we can keep this thing going a little while longer. You know, we'll print some more money and maybe get people into Bitcoin or whatever else. Uh, kind of use the patriotism thing, you know, the false patriotism. Real patriotism is uh, respect for the word of God. It's, it's uh, freedom of speech, liberty, things like that. Um, it's not the artificial wave your little flag that's made in communist China. Uh, that's not real patriotism. But um, Trump would try to kind of sidestep a little bit, keep the nation going a little bit more. The Trump agenda, not Trump himself, but the Trump agenda, the people that are connected with that. But uh, if we have a female president in this nation, it will be the end of this nation. I will tell you that right now. Um, Kamala Harris is... Uh, would be so horrible for this nation. I mean, the woman is, uh, it, it's not that she's dumb, it's that she acts like she's dumb. Um, I think that she's more intelligent than a lot of people give her credit for, but she's playing the part like a lot of women will do. They'll kind of play a dumb bimbo as a way to be attractive to a guy or something or whatever. Well, she's trying to kind of play a, a dumb bimbo as a way to really get, to ignite the right, I believe. Um, both of them, Trump and Kamala are both connected to the Jesuit order. Okay, I've talked about that in other videos. Uh, she actually went to, um, I think it was, um, what is it, Santa Clara or whatever out there in California. I think she did some of her studies there or something. And I mean, uh, both are very bad. Both are signs that God has done with this nation, um, unfortunately. Because I love America. This is where... Um, I was born and raised, and I've been here for many generations going back. And it's a real shame to see this country fall apart when my family helped to build this into a great nation. Um, but, you know, the Kamala Harris, the, I mean, she's basically bringing in communism, right? And it would, be, it would be a very bad America, but in some ways it would be good because it would mean that patriots would be awake enough that they would realize okay, the time has come that we need to fight. You know, she's openly said about coming into people's homes to inspect what guns they have. You know, we will do this. She wants to give reparations to black people because of, you know, that they were former slaves or something, or which some probably weren't. <laughs> uh, but it's okay because let's, you know, keep this anti-white racism stuff going. I mean, you know, why do I even need to talk about that stuff? I don't really. But I just wanted to make a real quick little video here just to clear up the fact that I am not for that uh, devil-possessed woman. And I do believe she's devil-possessed with her cackling laugh and everything else. It's like a witch, you know, or something. Uh, really creepy. But, um, so, I don't have a whole lot more to say about it. Uh, I'm certainly not for her. But, um, I say, well then, why aren't you voting for Trump? Well, uh, I will be voting um, in the sense of, <clears throat> when that time comes, I'm going to be praying. First and foremost, I'll be praying and saying, God, forgive me for my sins. I'm going to judge myself. If we judge ourselves, we should not be judged, the Bible says. Um, <clears throat> I will vote that way. Um, Lord, clean me up. Judge me. Okay? My judgment is done. All right? Then, Lord, do whatever is best for you in this selection coming up. The election. <laughs> Um, I did a sermon many years ago, back in 2012, who will win the 2012 presidential election. It was Mitt Romney versus Obama back then, Barack Obama. And, uh, and I said, I'm going to tell you, I know exactly who is going to win this election. 
I will guarantee you my answer will be correct. I know exactly who's going to win. And uh, I said, whoever's worse for this country, <laughs> because this country is under God's judgment. And I was right. And you know what? I've been right every pres presidential election since then. Whoever's worse for the country will be elected, will be put in. And uh, whoever will do the most judgment on America, that's who is going to be elected. If we make it to the election. That's another issue. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And um, get yourself right with God. All right? Because uh, there's not much time left for this nation. Thank you very much for watching.